Oh, rejoice, ladies and gents. We've got an update on the Alien TV series from showrunner Noah Hawley. So, just as a bit of, a bit of background, this is a day old. Now, I was going to report on this yesterday, but I reached out to friends of the channel avpgalaxy.net to, one, inform them that this piece of news has come out, and secondly, uh, I was going to be waiting for their deep dive uh, for additional pieces of information. They haven't published their article yet, and I don't know when they're going to, so this may be a little bit early, and we may have to do a follow-up when they reveal more information from their sources, because they were going to do some digging. So, sorry, that's why it's delayed. was going to cover this yesterday, but I'm here now, we're talking about it now, and there was the best of intentions. So what is this? Well, there is a TV series and a movie in the works from two completely different people set in two different time periods, uh, and they're both Alien-related, obviously. The Alien TV series from Noah Hawley, and we recently had an update on the Alien movie from Fede Alvarez, but we're strictly speaking just talking about Noah Hawley's TV series here, uh, and he discusses bringing the Xenomorphs to Earth, because, yes... That is happening in this movie, and how he is personally approaching the show. So it kind of gives you a bit of a backstory uh, on, well, I guess, you know, his sort of creative thought, should I say. <sighs> now, this is going to be released on FX, uh, and as this article notes, there is some excitement. Not a lot. There's not a lot of excitement. It's not like Alien Covenant era. You know, when Alien Covenant dropped their trailer, oh my god, people went nutso. People went absolutely mad for Alien Covenant trailer. Uh, huge breakdowns, thoughts, theories, every, you name it. That was this side of the internet. Everyone was fascinated by it. So there is some excitement, but not huge. And it is going to be released on FX. And it is an Alien TV series. Uh, Noah Hawley is predominantly the best-selling uh, sort of feature of this series. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff. I mean, Fargo... That kind of speaks for itself, to be honest, uh, as well as Legion. But Fargo, especially, is what sells him as a creative type for series. So, this article says little to nothing has been revealed about the show since it was first announced. Uh, that we do know it's going to be set on Earth uh, in the not-too-distant future. That is wrong, ladies and gents. Do you want a bit of a backstory? Uh, I'll give you a bit of a backstory. So, this uh, features two companies... Wayland yutani yes, absolutely, but it's not the predominant focus of the series. There is another company, uh, and it's uh, Pro or Prodigy um, Corporation. Features a young, uh, sort of, boss-type CEO thing, uh, and they're trying to... Well, they succeed, actually, uh, in crossing over conscience, uh, consciousness... From a human into a synthetic. So synthetic consciousness. So one can live on. There are two characters. A brother and a sister. One is a medic. Uh, and the other is the younger sister. That had he, he thought. The, the brother thought he had, she had died. Uh, but no. Not strictly true. Uh, has her brain. Her consciousness transplanted into a synthetic body. So it's a soldier. There's a bit of a fun... I mean, it's it's kind of a little bit of fun creativity there. Obviously, Prodigy Corporation, Prodigal Sons, Prodigal Childs coming home, etc. It's that sort of thing. Uh, and it is, of course, somehow the alien is wrapped up in there. We don't actually know how yet. But somehow the alien uh, is incorporated in all this. It is actually being shot currently in Thailand, uh, which has enabled it to avoid all of the situation with the strikes. So... Uh, he was discussing at the Austin Film Festival, so presumably they've done a lot of the stuff now. Uh, Hawley elaborated on his decision to bring the Xenomorphs to our planet and revealed one specific moment in the big screen franchise which informed his approach to telling the story. Look, a two hour movie, you can set it up and then it's just about, are they going to survive? But if you're making a series, are they going to survive? You can't sustain it. And he says this of changing how we typically think of Alien to make it better fit an episodic format. Even if you have 60% of the best action horror on television, you still have 40% of what are we talking about? And so this is obviously where the conversation comes in with uh, AI consciousness, I guess. I had some conversations early on with Peter Rice, who used to run all of television at Fox 
and then the first couple of years at Disney, where it was like, the thing with Alien, this is, I presume, this is the, the comment from Peter Rice, anyway, the thing with Alien is, it's always trapped in a spaceship, trapped in a prison. What if it wasn't that? I mean, that's quite promising. Quite promising. Can you imagine an alien getting loose on Earth? Holy shit. What is this moment on Earth, technology-wise? And where are we? Again, that's the um, consciousness element. And he even alludes to that here. So he goes, and the question science fiction always tends to ask is, does humanity deserve to survive? So that seems like a really interesting question to continue to explore. Love it. I think that sounds great. Uh, this article says it's a compelling approach, that's for sure. On a crew of heroes being killed one after the other for a duration of an entire series, while a fun-sounding premise on paper doesn't sound sustainable for a weekly TV show. No, it is not. Um, but interesting, so the alien moment, which is driv driving his vision anyway, Hawley singled out the moment when Ian Holmes' Ash is revealed to be an android. So again, here you go, here you go, ladies and gents. The little teaser there. Uh, and he says this, and then it always mimics the life cycle of the creature, right? Which is egg, slow, face hugger, starts to get faster, you know what I mean? And of course, that's great for a horror movie to build that way. So I found a way to kind of innovate around that structure and play with it. Good. I like it. I think this is good. Now, about his comments in terms of, you know, well, you know, the thing with Alien is always trapped... Uh, on a spaceship trapped in a prison, what if it wasn't that? I think this is a fantastic approach to Alien. I think it really opens it up. Because it's terrifying at that point. Now, the Alien's been established. We know what the Alien is. We know what kind of danger uh, is there when the Alien is present. You know, we know the issues that the Alien can, can uh, provide uh, our... Uh, protagonists, right? Now, if you set that on Earth, you've got a whole other situation that the protagonists as well as the wider populace have to deal with which is an alien or aliens uh loose on planet earth i mean that's absolutely terrifying because the fear factor for alien for alien and its ability to do uh, well absolute sort of well, demonstrable fear and terror and destruction on a massive scale has been established you can play with that significantly more than if you had to establish that fear uh, from a franchise from the off. I mean, we all know what the alien is. Yeah, there'll be some people that don't. But we all know, generally speaking. So if it gets loose on Earth, everyone knows. You are, to coin a... Well, to, to use a, uh, a bit of a low-end phrase here. But you're fucked, basically. You're absolutely wrecked. So I love this. I think it's really, really good. Uh, and it bodes well. I mean, the fact that he's talking in Austin Film Festival. They were filming in Thailand. I'm guessing they've stopped now. Which is great. Uh, so expect this soon-ish or at least some stuff soon-ish but what do you guys think let me know down below again maybe expect another update on this uh, when avp galaxy decide to drop their article we'll see what additional information they provide but cheers guys thank you so much take care bye bye now